Welcome to a um, unboxing. Today we're going to be looking at um, the new Shadowrun. Shadowrun 6th World Tarot Card. So it's the Arcanist's edition featuring the arc of Art of Echo Tunic. So this came out, um, well it arrived here a couple of days ago. I picked it up and I've always liked tarot cards and I'm kind of excited to see what they look like. Let's have a look. So these go with the Shadowrun role-playing game, I do believe. Um, and it refers to those in different places. So let's see how we get into this. Oh, okay, so it's got a magnetic catch on the side, which is cute. Um, here's a nice solid box. What's this on here? A guidebook. So this is, oh, it's about, um, funny enough, it's about the tarot. So the Major Arcana, Matrix. So it looks like they've changed some of the, the labeling to make it more shadow run. So it gives you an overview. Bands, cups, blades, and coins. Got a little bit of an overview on how to read, read the Awakened Tarot, which is something I might look at later. Oh, that's what that is. So we've got a cord to get our cut. These are big. These are oh, what the box. These are big cards. Um, really nice. So to give you an idea, um, that's a magic card. So it's a standard magic card. So we're pretty much twice the size of a magic card. Um, and if you're thinking of sleeving them, um, you're gonna need some bigger sleeves because these are standard tarot sleeves um, and they're just gonna be too small as well. So these are bigger than tarot sleeves, which is great because I like the card. So let's have a look and, um, oh, nice. Silver edge, that's very attractive. Let's get into here without damaging the cards. I think there's 78. What does it say in the box? Um, it does not say. Okay. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to count them. But there's a lot. I'm not in the book. Um, no, it doesn't say in the book either. Handy. Wow, these are very nice looking cards. Yeah. Yeah, they're a bit thinner than. Here's my magic card. That's magic. Similar, similar card stock to magic cards. Nice metallic edge. Again, fantastic art, and that's kind of what you go for these anyway. So let's lay some of them out, and um, the Matrix, High Priestess, Chief Executive. So this is um, very much a. Um, Shadow run twist on the tarot cards. But the art is just gorgeous. These are huge cards. I'll have to see if I can get some sleeves that'll fit them in. Because funnily enough, I want to use them. There are not many games um, that you can just use the tarot cards for, but I have found a couple. So there's one called Queen of Fates. So if you have a look at that um, on Board Game Geek. That allows you to play, oh, the hangman. Play a, um, almost like a fantasy game. Uh -huh. 404. Um, a fantasy game of, um, with the tarot card deck. Um, and I found a new one yesterday called Matrix Overload. That one doesn't seem to be on Board Game Geek, but it is available online for download. You can get a free version that works with 
comet. Yeah, it's gonna uh, the eclipse. So they really have renamed a lot of the main car types. There might be a bit of adjustment. Um, so that was the main set of cards. If you're used to tarot, you might have a bit of adjustment there. Let's stick them back in the box. I do like that. It's going to be easier. I don't know if they'll fit with sleeves. But I guess that's a problem for another day. And then we've got the kind of minor deck. So we've got the ace of, this is battens. So I guess that's the equivalent of swords. Two of battens. Three, four. Page, Knight, Queen, and King. Really nice. These are going to take up a lot of table space if you're going to use them. But then they do justice for the art. Blades. So I guess this is the equivalent of swords. That's great. So the whole world of Queen and King. Shadow Run, that mixture of Cyber magic technology intermixed. Coins. Finally, well, cups. Knight, Queen, and King. So there you go, that is Shadow Run the Sixth World Tarot. Very attractive cards, very big cards. Um, if you're into tarot decks and you're into Cyberpunk Shadow Run, this is probably great for you. Um, I'm looking forward to having a go at Matrix Overload, which is a solo game using tarot cards. There we go. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe.